Both NBC Universal and Warner Media devoted a big part of their respective presentations to talking about their upcoming streaming services. However, they didn't actually share any specific details about the service. It's unusual for one company, much less two companies, to spend so much time on an upfront offering that doesn't even have a name or any specifics about what its original or library content will be. I don't think, trust us guys, it's gonna be good, is good enough to convince buyers to blindly direct a portion of their TV budgets to the service. So I knew that Disney's combined upfront, which included ABC, Freeform, ESPN, and the new properties it acquired from Fox, like FX and National Geographic, was gonna be long. But two hours and 19 minutes is far lengthier than any upfront presentation should ever be especially given that ad sales chief Rita Farrow told me she had been hoping to wrap things up in 90 minutes flat. But as anyone who attended NBC Universal's first combined upfront presentation three years ago would agree, that company also had its share of growing pains as it figured out how to best present its content from across the entire portfolio. And it took a couple of years of tweaking before NBCU finally cracked the code. So yes, Disney has a long way to go, but I have no doubt they'll figure out a way to rein things in by next year. While some upfront staples are eagerly awaited each year, like Jimmy Kimmel's upfront roast, others are dreaded, like the annual appearance from Fox's NFL team, which always manages to stay on stage too long and do something either just embarrassing or downright offensive in front of buyers. Terry Bradshaw kept the streak going this year when he made offensive remarks about mass Singer judges Ken Jeong and Robin Thicke, which he later had to apologize for. Buyers always tell me that they don't need to be sold on football. They get how popular it is. And while I understand that Fox wants to tout one of its biggest assets, the company needs to rethink its strategy and keep those sports guys from riffing on stage. So the network showed us 50 plus trailers during Upfront's week, but the most memorable moments were the ones that happened live, like when NBC celebrated the upcoming Tokyo Olympics by assembling 13 medal-winning female Olympians on stage. That included Jackie Joyner Kersey, Lindsey Vonn, and Mary Lou Retton. Goosebumps-inducing moments like those are something that every network should aspire to include in their presentations. So while upfronts are mostly about focusing on what's new, this week we had several opportunities to bid a fond farewell to three of TV's longest running shows when the cast of Big Bang Theory, Modern Family, and Supernatural took the stage for a final bow. Modern Family co-creator Steve Levitan recalled how when ABC screened the entire pilot of his show at its upfront 10 years ago, his life changed forever as buyers realized how big his show was going to be. It was a reminder of the eternal hope among networks and buyers each year that Upfront's week will yield the next big broadcast hit they've been waiting for.